As the junior performers wrapped their run, the seniors were in very high gear behind a relatively high wind. The top performers ate up the course and were heading home at a very quick pace. Sooner or later, the winners were home. Anthony spoke with a few of them. We're here at the Team Jamaica Bicker 5K run and we have the winner just completed the race. What's your name? Damien Walker. And which track club do you represent? A rough Cuts. And how was it? Uh, it was tiring but I just wanted to win so yeah. And how do you prepare for an event like this? Um, train hard every day, you know. Practice hard and then come out here and it'll pay off. That's all. And is this the first 5K run you've competed in? Nah, nah. I've been running 5Ks all my life, so it's nothing. Okay. And what's your specialty event? My specialty is the 800 and the 400. So yeah. And what's the best time you've ever done in the 800? Um, 152 is my best time, and I run a 47 in the 400. Okay. So you're still active on the circuit? Uh, yeah. Right now I'm preparing to go to college. Um, in January, so. I'm just training for that and getting ready. And finally, what would you say to other people who have not been to this event? Because this is the first time we're doing it. What would you say to them? I would tell them to come out, you know. It's a fun event. Everybody out here enjoying themselves, you know. Just come out here, enjoy yourself. In front of all your fans, you know. And as part of your victory, you're going to be heading to Jamaica for the reggae marathon. What are your thoughts about that? Uh, my thoughts for that is to train hard until and prepare for this event you never know what could happen and have you ever been to jamaica before yeah i was born in jamaica so yeah all right so all the best and you know great on your victory just congratulations again on your victory all right thank you so, hi good afternoon i heard you're in the first place be in the female section how does it feel oh, it feels great and <laughs> what, what? okay and what's your name evelyn abiola so have you ever been to Jamaica before? No, never. So this will be my privilege. First time. And tell us, how do you prepare for an event like this? You train. You run a lot of miles when it's raining, when it's snowing, <laughs> when it's hot outside. You just have to be consistent. Okay, and what do you think are your chances in Jamaica? Because the reggae marathon attracts a lot of people from all over the globe. So how do you feel your chances are? I think they're pretty good. You just got to come up with a positive attitude and train. Okay, and in uh, terms of your time today, what time did you do? Um, my watch was saying, I think I stopped a little late, like 1918, 1924. So, it's pretty good for me. Okay. Yeah. And what are your thoughts about Jamaica? I mean, I mean, going to Jamaica for the first time. What, what are the things besides competing in the race do you think you want to do? Oh, I want to go to the beach. I want to try the food. I heard Aki and saltfish is really good. <laughs> I want to try everything. <laughs> and in terms of athletics here, which events you normally compete in? I'm training for the New York City Marathon right now, so well, usually it's distance, but I run a lot of 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons. Uh. All right, again, congratulations on your victory. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. And what's your name? Charlene. Okay. Busted. And is this the first 5K you've competed no. in? No, it's not, but it was fun. It was fast. Okay, what, do you know what time you did? Yes, 21. <laughs> okay. I'm happy. All right, and uh, tell us about your background in athletics. I mean, how long you've been competing? I've been competing since I was 12. Then during my having my three kids, I stopped and go and stopped and go. And now I'm competing again while well, my kids are competing also. Okay. And what's your specialty then? I like shorter distances, like the mile. Okay. And for other people who has never been to this event, what would you tell them in the future? That the more we have, the more the more we are, the more fun we have, and you don't have to be a fast runner to join. You know, the kids are happy to support anybody, anybody who makes the effort. All right, well again, congratulations on your third place finish. Thank you so much. So we're here in Baisley Park on this very beautiful day for sports, for road running with Richard James, uh, Olympian, world champion for Jamaica's track and field program, who came out to support the first annual Team Jamaica Bickle 5K run here in Baisley Park. Uh, Richard, first of all, congratulations to you, you, you and your performances over the years for keeping the Jamaican flag high. And of course, uh, for coming out and supporting this event today. Give us your thoughts, your impressions so far for the morning. Yeah, today was, it was very successful. Very successful. Um, it's a lot better than I expected. Not to say that I didn't expect much, but the support from everyone, 
was really, really good. It's a good turnout, really good competition. As you can see, I want to finish one lap of the two-lap race. Um, it's, it's fun, and I, I'm going to be here next year. Uh, what sort of a competitive shape would you say you're in now? On a scale of 1 to 10 right now, 2. 2. two. Okay. Um, are you looking to to do to be in, in any one of the teams uh, going into London next year? No, no, definitely not. I've I've put that down for the past six years now. I'm more interested in teaching and coaching right now. I'm actually a professor at Long Island University um, in the sports science department and also the strength coach, the head strength coach at LIU. Uh, recap for me uh, what, what you would say would be um, your most memorable uh, uh, day event competing for Jamaica on the world stage. 2004 Indoors, World Indoor Championship. That was, that was beautiful. That was beautiful just to, to be there in the atmosphere and to have won one of our first gold medals in, in a long time in 2004 with guys like... Um, Gregory Horton, Davian Clark, those guys was really, really wonderful. It was really lovely hanging out with them and competing with them. So that was my most memorable time here for Jamaica. Well, listen, Richard, congratulations. Keep on keeping on and keep on flying, the, the, uh, flying high. Jamaica's flag in track and field sports. Definitely, definitely. Thanks a lot. Here in Baisley Park, the five kilometers run, we are saying welcome to Howard Hilton, businessman extraordinaire for New York City. Howard, welcome. I'm very happy to be here. It's a great race to be a part of. You know, in our community, it's unfortunate that on a Saturday morning or Sunday morning, you, you don't see many of us taking part in these healthy um, events. It was a very good race. Um, hope next year we'll have, well, I know next year we'll have a much better turnout, and um, I'm happy that. The, the people in the community came out and support. Now, as in reference to Team Jamaica Bickle and Awesome Power Track Club, they're doing a very good job. I hope they continue to support the Queen's community with events like this so we could um, build more health in the community because a lot of us are unhealthy. We don't know high blood pressure, stuff like that, and we need to exercise and keep a um, healthy and active life. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, so... Let me go back to work now. <laughs> I want to say to you guys that you have participated in a historical event. Because, trust me, there will never be another one like this. <laughs> you realize that? So therefore, come next year, when we take it to the next level, you will be veterans. Because you will know the ins and outs and will have participated at the first one so you can strategize and all be winners again. Yeah. Now, I want to indicate something here because sometimes we overlook certain things. In our zeal and our zest to do good, we make some errors from time to time. That's part of life. I would like to apologize on behalf of Sean because he screwed up. 